when you love someone, you really don't want to hurt them. You really don't want to hurt them. But it's like, it's not there no more. And I won't, I won't, I like Chick-fil-A, but I want Popeye's. Crispy. Golden. Extra pickle, extra may. Mo, you getting off topic, topic, but. I hit hard bars, you can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch wanna pull me closer. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl, Mo. And today I'm back with another video. Now, if you're new to this channel, I'm Mo. We're Mo Mafia. I'm Mo the Goat. Y'all, I'm a mafia. I said that already. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping bangers. For all my OG subs, y'all already know what to do. I figured that I should start introducing myself a different way when I start my videos, just for all the people who just now joining the family. Y'all feel me? So that's why I'm going to do that. Now, today I'm going to do a couple shout outs and we're going to get right into uh, Tell It To Mo Tuesday. And for everybody that's new, I do Tell It To Mo Tuesdays every Tuesday, or, or I'm going to try to do it every Tuesday, you know what I'm saying, where you just, you can submit a one minute video to me, um, whether it's about um, advice on something, um, relationships, uh, friendships, family, your mom, anything. If you want to make a decision to go off to the army and you just want my opinion, you can submit anything, you feel me? So first, I'm going to do a couple shout outs because you know how y'all do it. First shout out goes to super underscore awesome underscore Tyrell. Thank you for always commenting and liking my videos. You also be hitting me up on Instagram a lot. I got you, bro. I told you I got you. Shout out to Larry Mitchell. Shout out to Ab Love. Shout out to uh, Leanna uh, Vait Hoi. 24 shout out to nyc nye um shout out to um ace williams renee a shout out to angie gonzalez shout out to crazy queen love you she a og sub she been here since the jump um shout out to king j12 shout out to Miller jane and shout out to me chill Y'all always in the comments doing y'all thing. Um, thank y'all for being there. If you need, if you want a shout out, just comment. I always screenshot it so I can have it in my phone. I really ain't have a lot of shout out requests from my last video, but it is what it is. I just chose to shout people out anyway. All right, y'all ready? I got my speaker right here, so we gonna get right to it. Make sure it's nice and loud for y'all. First video from my guy Dustin. Last week, I was supposed to do his entry. I totally forgot to add it, but I got you, bro. I got you. What's good, my mafia? This is Destin. I would like to add to, add to ask to ask you some, some questions. I'm 19 years old. I live with my stepmom. Uh, my real mom is in Africa, but uh, every time I bring her in the house, like I call her in the house, it's always a problem. She be blaming my dad, that blah, blah, blah. My dad trying to get back together with her, but it's not, it's not even that. So I was planning, I missed her a lot, bro. I was planning, I'm going, going back in Africa to see her, to bring her some money, bring her some stuff, and then come back in the U.S. without telling them. So do you think it's a good idea for me to do that? Thank you, Mama, for I love you, gang. All right, so he was, I, I think he was basically trying to ask me, like, do I think it's a good idea for him to leave the U.S. and go see his mom without telling his dad and his stepmom? Honestly, I'm not sure how old you are, so I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. But if you are of age and you're able to venture off and do what you want to do, go see your mom. You know what I'm saying? I've been away from my mom for almost nine months, so I know how it feels to want to see your mother. You know what I'm saying? That's your mom. Um, I think you honestly should talk to your dad and your stepmom, no matter how your stepmom are feeling. That's still your biological mother. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be a problem with you talking to your mama in your own house anyway. You know what I'm saying? They should have that understanding whether they co-parenting or doing whatever they're doing for you. So I honestly think you should holler at them about it. Let them know, hey, I want to see my mom. I want to be able to talk to my mom in my own house. 
You know what I'm saying? That's kind of weird to me, but for sure, like, bro, holla at your dad, holla at your stepmom, let them know how you feel. And if it's still a problem, then go see your mom because you have you should have that right to do that. That's what I think. Period. So he has a second entry as well. I'm gonna go ahead and play it. So my my second question is, if you feel like you like somebody, mm -hmm. but they were with your ex, they were friends with your ex, mm -hmm. and the sub the person that you like, they're still friendly with your ex. What would you do? Cause I'm I'm that situation. You feel? Me? <laughs> so I don't know what to do. So two more. All right. So he asking, um, he likes somebody, but they friends with his ex. Um, that's a rocky situation. You trying to be a player out here now. I see you with the smile. You out here trying to yin dig a couple of chicken digs. I know what you on, but that ain't right. You know that ain't cool, man. You don't you don't go get with your ex friend. That ain't cool. You gonna hurt her. Especially if y'all cool. But hey, if y'all ain't cool and you on some revenge stuff, I don't know how it ended. So I don't want to say too much. But hey, you feel me? If, if, your girl, if your ex don't care and the friend obviously don't care. Because if, you know what I'm saying, she do she like you back? I need more to the story. I need to know a little bit more information about that. Holla at me. Let me know. Maybe we can do a... Uh, another entry next week and we can continue on with my answer because right now I'm kind of on the fence with that one I don't know you know what I'm saying I don't know so it's tell it to Mo Tuesday right and Mo I want to tell you this scenario right so my fiance birthday fell on our anniversary and my plan was to ask her to be my fiance mm -hmm. which I did okay. and it didn't go as planned and she said it's my fault it didn't go as planned because I play so much but I personally feel like she should not always take me for a joke. <laughs> a joke. So, what's your opinion of the situation? That's her birthday. It's our anniversary. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of her opening all her gifts, I took the, the engagement ring and was like going on my knees to, you know, ask her to pop the big question. And she like, <clears throat> and laughed with her best friend. I was already embarrassed. So, I went to her friend leave and I asked her the right way. Right. And your opinion... How do you think I should have handled the situation differently? That's a good question, yo. Okay, so what I think you should have did personally is you should have kept going. Because if your girl know you goofy, like she would have at some point figured it out. Uh, they ain't playing now, you know what I'm saying? Like if you on one knee and you finna pop the question and your girl go, <laughs> I'll be like, quit playing, girl. I'm for real. You know, I'm going to play along with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, to get embarrassed makes you embarrassed. So you should have just been like, I ain't playing. I want to be with you for the rest of my life, baby. Like, you know, laughed it off, but been serious. And then when you open that box and she seen the ring, it would have been like, you know what I'm saying? It would have flowed better. But for you to just freeze up, you probably got up, ran or some shit or got up and laughed. You should have just kept going. You should have just kept going with it. Because that's what I would have did. You know what I'm saying? If I'm on one knee and you go... Because you know I'm goofy. You know what I'm saying? I would have been like, I ain't playing, girl. You know what I'm saying? Get over here. I'm trying to marry you, baby. For real. Period. Shout out to KB underscore poppy, y'all. Y'all go check out her channel. That's my guy. She cool people. For real. All right. Next one. Hey, Mo. So, it's this boy. He not really my type because I like dark skins. But. Okay. He likes he's so it. fucked up about me. Fucked and up. I am too. But he lied about Weird the simplest too. things ever. Mm -hmm. And all I want to do is tell the truth. Like, I already know the truth. But for him to lie to me, it don't make no sense. Okay. But I was on a three way call with him and my friend. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how he want to do this and that with her. Then he lied in my face and said that she called him and was saying all of that. But he want me back. And my mama want me with him, but she don't know everything. Like, should I get back with him or should I just block him and leave him alone? <laughs> Baby girl, let me tell you like this. If before, if you was with him and it separated, I don't know why. And now he on, you on three way on some super sneaky shit. I used to do that shit too. <laughs> but anyway, 
You on a three way and he talking to your friend Freaky. What makes you think that he he's trustworthy enough to deserve you? You know what I'm saying? Like, boy, you didn't even know I was on the phone and you you don't even think I know? You trying to get in my friend's draws. <laughs> no. Period. No, hell no, I don't get with him. Find you a dark skin boo. Like you said, you like dark skins. Light skins, they they, you know, they shaky with it. You know what I'm saying? But I like me some light skins too and dark. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the person though. It's the inside that counts. If he can try to holler at your friend behind your back and then try to play it all good in front of you, you know what I'm saying? But people do make mistakes and I don't know what she was saying to him on the phone. So, you know what I'm saying? You never, you, but in my opinion, don't do it because he already has set forth a goal to hit friend, to crack friend like a taco. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no reason for you to uh, ignore that and just keep on and move forward with getting with him. No. Mm-mm. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Period. Next one. What's up, bro? What so, basically, it's the dude that go to my school. And by the way, I'm a freshman in uh, my school. Okay. Um, he, we always, we always, um, and how we always look at each other on constantly eye contact, eye contact, mm -hmm. like during the day. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know if he's straight or bi, whatever. Mm -hmm. but the other day I asked him what he, I asked him, I wanted to talk to him because like, I really like this dude and I don't know, I didn't know what to do. So I just talked to him and my cousin mm -hmm. was talking about it. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to talk to him, so I asked him if he was straight or whatever. He was like, yeah, like, he like, he asked me, like, like, do I like girls? And I was mm -hmm. like, yeah. Or is that only what you like? He was like, yeah. So I was like, let me go back to his cousin. But the day before that, he was with his cousin. He was, uh, like, constantly looking at me. Like, he was trying to turn around. Mm -hmm. Trying to full 360 to look at me. 360? He and looking at you, boo? I, I would look at him, too. Mm -hmm. But, like... People telling me that, like, he tell, he's saying he's straight, but, like, something in my head telling me that he hiding something. And people that I know is making, is bringing up stuff that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I don't, like, I don't know what to do. And then, yeah, just let me know. Okay, so, you a freshman in high school. It's this boy who's straight. <laughs> he ain't straight if he looking at you. <laughs> Period. But, you don't, you asked him, was he, did he like girls? He said, yeah. Um, and he asked you the same thing. I think that's what you said. And you said, yeah, just to be, you know, saying it. Um, holla. Let him know how you feel. Be like, I be catching you looking at me. I be catching you looking at me. Period. What up, boo? Is you trying to kick it? You want to play a game with Connect Four? What it do? Let him know. Like, I, I be seeing you looking at me. I, I like guys. Like, are you interested? Because I know freshman in high school, that was a beautiful year for me. So, you know what I'm saying? That's when I was finding myself too. You know what I'm saying? So, I know what point in your life you at. I've been there. But just, you know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't push yourself on him. Because maybe he's scared. Maybe he's in the closet. Maybe his family ain't going for it. You never know what he got going on. So, just... You know what I'm saying? One day, put him to the side, sit at him at the table with lunch, you know, or maybe invite him out to go bowling or something. You know, you it ain't even got to be on no extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just try to hang out with him, just you and him, and just holler at him and let him know, like, I be seeing you looking at me. You know what I'm saying? What up? That's all you can do, right? Stop talking for three months. I really got fed up with her playing with my emotions. I was emotionally attached to her and when she, and she knew how to use me. Mm. I finally decided to cut her off a few months ago. She would go cold on me. So I got into a new relationship. She mm -hmm. hit me up saying, why would you hit me up when you're in a relationship? Like, girl, that was months ago. Mm -hmm. I let her and her baby daddy be. She will always say There's a baby daddy. Me. I'm the best part of her, et cetera. Like, how can you love somebody? How can you love somebody you can go days or months without talking, without talking to and don't care? 
And right. then when I get into a new relationship, she mad that I'm moving on. Mm -hmm. Like, you could have just left me alone. What was the point? I don't want to hurt my new girlfriend, mm -hmm. but a part of me still loves her, mm -hmm. but I don't want to be with her. Okay, so my camera cut off, but she asked me, uh, she said a part of her still loves her, but she don't want to be with her. And then she said, what would you do? Baby girl, it's over. You're not finna come in and out of my life. No, I'm not a light switch. You ain't gonna turn me on then off. Be with your baby daddy and let me have my relationship. And maybe if we're both single in the future, we can rekindle something. But for right now, you're not gonna play games with me. You're not gonna, uh, you're not gonna take me high and then bring me low and then take me high and then bring me low. No, no. Do you keep your girlfriend if you if you love your girlfriend and you don't want to be with this girl? Leave it at that. Do not mess up what you got going on for somebody from your past. Because obviously you're not with her for a reason. She got a baby daddy. She got a family. Let her have that. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't mess up what you got for you know what I'm saying to pick up an old leaf, turn over an old leaf. It's not worth it. Don't do that. Mm -mm. I think we got one more. What's up, Mo? Yeah, it's me from last time where I wanted to get back with my ex, but mm -hmm. her boyfriend's like 500 miles away. I remember. And yeah, like, I'm going to shoot my shot, but it's just that mm -hmm. the girl that I mentioned before the last video that I'm talking to currently, um, she gets depressed easily. So if I were to tell her I don't want to talk to her, I don't want to be with her at all, like, I don't know. She's told me, like, that... The next time, like, she gets a, she breaks up with somebody or, it's, like, gets her heart broken, mm -hmm. she doesn't know how she's going to save herself. So I'm, like, at the back of my head, it's making me nervous or scared. Like, I don't want her to not kill herself because I, I think she won't do that. But it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to, like, tell her I don't want to be with you. I want someone else. <sighs> like. I don't, I don't know. I felt that breath. But yeah, um, Mo, please help me with this. I really do not like her anymore. I want this other girl. And yeah, bye. Wow. Wow, that's deep. Because, you know, when you love someone, you really don't want to hurt them. You really don't want to hurt them. But it's like, it's not there no more. And I won't, I won't. I like Chick fil A. But I want Popeyes, crispy, golden, extra pickle, extra may. Mo, you getting off topic? Topic, but listen, what I would do is I would just, I would really like sit her down. I would, I would even do it like I would even not romantic. I would do it like in a way where, you know. We have fun, you know what I'm saying? We we go out and maybe we go to dinner and we sit down and we have a real deep talk. And you let her know we we can still be friends. I just want you to know that I love somebody else. I want to be with somebody else. My heart, you're still in my heart, but but the relationship aspect of things is not there. And you gotta just find the words and find the right time to do that because i i've dealt with exes in the past who were you know what i'm saying depressed and couldn't really handle some of the things i said you know what i'm saying whether it was we breaking up or i don't agree with this or that you know what i'm saying so it's that's hard that's always hard to like be able to tell somebody who love you like i don't love you back anymore you know i feel for you and i can hear it in your voice like this is bothering you so what I would do, like I said, I would just maybe take her out, have a blast, try not to be too, you know, touchy kissy, all that, because you trying to break that away and let and then just sit her down, and let her know, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling somebody else. Um, I, I still want to be in your life. We can be friends. We can be best friends. Cause you know, some of our, I know people who their exes are their best friend now. Like you got, you just got to be real mature about it. You know what I'm saying? The way you go about it. Don't just cut her off, ignore her, stuff like that. That's when, um, things come in and it, it gets bad. You know what I'm saying? Cause she wondering, where are you? Why aren't you talking to me? Why aren't you talking to me? Are you mad at me? Did I do something wrong? You don't want that part of her, uh, her, her emotions to be, to be, you don't want those part of her emotions to come out. 
you want it to be like she everything was up front everything was honest everything was truthful so when you go to her just try to you know what i'm saying express it to her in a way she can understand and she doesn't feel left behind because i know i've dealt with that so i know it's hard but that would be my advice to you all right if you need any more advice holla at me we can do a second segment on this because this your well we can do a third because it's your second but um yeah i hope that works out for you i hope everything works out for everybody i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe turn on post notifications hit that bell so y'all know when i'm dropping bangers i'm gonna get this video up right now it's nighttime i know it's late i'm gonna drop it for y'all all right um and my mafia we finna get lit because we the shit gang